is a strong tower and the righteous run there in and they are safe and we're so glad to be here we're on our 31 day consecration our 31 day journey in the presence of the Lord and in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy glory to God with our hands towards heaven God we bless you God we glorify you God we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your glory we thank you for your anointing that can be felt in this house we thank you for your presence we thank you for your people God whether they are virtual or whether they are in person. God, we thank you for your presence that is moving up and down the airwaves. It's moving up and down that home. It's going down through the aisles. It's going from heart to heart and from breast to breast. And God, we glorify you. God, we bless you. God, we honor you. God, we thank you that as we're on this consecration, as we're in this time of fasting and unity, God, that you would save, heal, and deliver. That if there be any sickness, you would, oh God, heal and rectify, cause life to flow in every area of that body, cause life to flow in that mind, cause life to flow within that spirit. Lord, help us to continue to earnestly chase after you. Help us to be God chasers. Help us to go after you with our entire heart, with our entire mind, our entire body, our entire strength. If you're online, like and share. God, we're chasing after you because your word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. God, we're seeking after you. We want your kingdom. We want your glory. We want your power. We want your presence. We want your majesty. We want your anointing. We want your spirit. We want you to move in within our lives. It's God that works in us, both to will and do of your good pleasure. And Father, we make your praise glorious. 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 We sing unto you a new song. We shout unto you, God, with the voice of triumph. We let the devil know we've got the victory. We let the devil know that we've got victory. We let the devil know that we've got victory. We shut down the attacks of the enemy. We shut down the demons. We shut down the imps. We shut down the witches and warlocks. And we invite your glory to bind the hand of the enemy, to move in us, to flow through us. Walk up in us, God. Do a new thing in us. Come on, lift your hands towards heaven and begin to open up your mouth, Zion. Come on, come on, like we know how to praise him. Like we know how to worship him. Like we know how to glorify him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Our scripture is out of our devotional booklet today. Again, we are on day four of our journey in the presence of the Lord. Day four. It says that the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. That's Psalm 107, verse 2. One more time. Psalm 107, verse 2. It said, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Look at somebody and say, excuse me. Look at somebody and say, excuse me. I have something to say. Glory to God. At this time, it's time for praise and worship in the house of the Lord. Glory to God. Let's remain standing if we can as we come to praise and honor and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. Come on and clap those hands. Hallelujah. Come on and magnify the Lord this morning. He's a great God. He's an awesome God. He's an incredible God. He's a mighty God. Come on, don't stop clapping those hands. Come on, let them know that you love them. Let them know that you appreciate them. Come on and give them glory. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him right here in this place. Come on, God, we honor you. Open your mouth and say something to him. Come on, we done rendered unto Caesar what belonged to him for 40 hours last week. Let's give God what belongs to him, the glory, the honor, the praise, the adoration. Hallelujah, because he's so worthy of it. Hallelujah, he's so worthy of it. Hallelujah, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. The song just says, exceedingly, abundantly, above, above all. All you could ask or think, a 
whatever you're believing for, just get it in your mind and sing, don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. Break the music. Come on, y'all sing it. I don't care. Pick any notes. This your worship to the Lord. I hear you. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Let's make this the last one. Throw those hands up and don't give up on them. Because he won't give up on you. He is able. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Is that anybody prayer? without me.
Come on and say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, jump to your feet in your home, in the sanctuary. Come on and say yeah. Come on and say yes. Oh, come on and say yes. In your home, come on and bless them. Come on and sanctify your house. Sanctify that environment. Come on and clap your hands, I can like this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like celebrating. I feel like giving the devil a black eye. I feel like magnifying him. I feel like glorifying him. Woo! Come on, come on. I feel like lifting him. Come on and say yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, if you're in your home or in the sanctuary, look at somebody and say, neighbor, you may not be a praiser like those that were here last Sunday, but look at him and say, neighbor, this is your opportunity to jump in the praise. I need somebody to help me glorify him. This is Debbie. Pick up those two feet. In your home, clap your hands. Real quick, stay right there. See, I grew up in the church where they said you couldn't shout unless something hits you. They said you couldn't dance unless something hit you. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually. So that means whenever I think I have the free reign to put up my feet and to thank him, and I need somebody right now, just help me for a few moments and begin to thank him. a show. Just this week somebody survived something. Take me to I know that God will. He will. Share this, like and share. One more time. I know. I know that he will answer prayer. It's real simple. One last time. I know. I know. Come on and give him the honor. Come on and give him the praise. Come on, Zion. Glory to God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. If you're online, we thank the Lord for you. Many of you are online. I'm watching your comments. Glory to God. God bless you, saints of the Lord. We thank the Lord for you. In the house of God today, in the house of God today, we thank God for your presence. We thank God for God's presence most of all. And we thank the Lord for his goodness Glory to God. We're on our 31-day journey in the presence of the Lord. 
and we thank God that his word declares in my presence there is fullness of joy and at my right hand there are pleasures forevermore we're on this 31 day journey in the presence of the Lord if you've got your book online just hit that like if you're on YouTube hit that like hit that love button and we thank the Lord for you glory to God we are in this journey in God's presence and we invite you all to fast and to pray with us in the spirit of unity because we're fasting and consecrating ourselves that God may be glorified within and through us I heard the old bishop say a long time ago that if you pray you will stay and if you fast, you will last. If you want to endure, you've got to humble yourself. You've got to afflict your soul through and by fasting and praying. This uh, devotion was put together with a lot of love and work. And I want to give you just a quick excerpt online. It's uh, one that says, worship that releases his will. I'm going to read you a couple of lines. It says, growing up, we have all probably heard the statement, Lord willing. I'll be at church tomorrow, Lord willing. I'll be healed one day, Lord willing. I'll invite my family to church one day. Well, you get the point. I'd like to submit to you, brothers and sisters, that what we like to push off on God as it relates to his will has a lot to do with our will. That's just a quick excerpt, and you can continue to read this devotional. Download it at www.communionchurchmd.org forward slash communion, consecration 2020. We're praying every day at 6 o'clock a.m., and at nine o'clock if you're a tither online i want to thank god for your faithfulness i need everybody to continue to engage me online if you're a tither hit that like hit that love button if you're a tither if you thank god for the ability to give in the sanctuary put those two hands together as loud as you can come on don't do it uh with a quiet tone but put those hands together if you thank god to give put those hands together y'all still ain't clapping loud enough come on glory to god there you go beautiful beautiful get that very best gift you can if you're a tither or if you're giving we thank god for all of those who have given already online we thank the lord for your faithfulness i want everybody to get something in your hand and please stand to your feet glory to god everyone let's get something let's get something to the lord we thank god you've done so well and god has sustained us and kept us and greater things we shall do because of the favor and the blessings of the lord the bible declares the blessings of the lord maketh one rich and adds no sorrow therein glory to god glory to god if you've got to give by credit card you can see evangelist if you need to give online via givelify you can do so you can do so by cash app you can do so by push pay you can do so uh, by visiting communionchurchmd.org forward slash give uh, there are a multiplicity and a plethora of ways or a myriad of ways you can give and i thank god it's more of a blessing to give than to receive i've given you testimony after testimony of how god has blessed and i'm so very thankful that when you do it god's way he will blow your mind look at somebody and say do it god's way and he'll blow your mind glory to god glory to god get that gift and begin to wave that smartphone if you got nothing but a bus token or a coupon wave it before the lord on this sunday morning and i believe that god will blow your mind god bless every gift bless every giver bless those online bless those in the sanctuary that are giving out of their increase and their abundance and some it may be their last we thank you because you'll continue to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive we thank you because we have set this aside for you do what no other power can do god we bless you god we glow Glorify you. We thank you because the cattle upon a thousand hill, it belongs to you. And therefore, because we are your seed, it belongs to us through and by the spirit of transfer. God, we honor you and God, we love you. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. It is forever and forever. And all of God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Get your Bibles. I'm not going to be long today. We have the Lord's table before us. I know many of us are tired, including myself, because 5.30 every morning comes early. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want to let us know that next Sunday, uh, tentatively, we'll be having an afternoon fellowship. We will have to do this virtual. We want to handpick those who want to come from communion next Sunday afternoon. Glory to God. Pastor Jonathan Mintz from Stand for Christ, Way of the Cross in Orangeburg, South Carolina. 
will come and give the word of the Lord on that afternoon as we are in this consecration period. But people of God, I want us uh, to be found in the house of the Lord. Let's continue to remain consistent. If you're online or if you're on YouTube, I want you to type that word consistent, consistent, consistent. Amen, amen, amen. I thank the Lord for you in the name of the Lord. As they're playing that, the book of Joel chapter 1. Glory to God. Oh, we thank him and we praise him. Glory to God. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. And oh, Lord, we bless your name. And oh, we lift our voices to say thank you for your goodness your goodness 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 and your mercies toward us we offer pray if god's worth you worthy you worthy you Every day I wake up in the morning, Jesus. Come on, Zion, don't let me just be an entertainment show. Oh, for your goodness. For your goodness. And your mercy. And your mercy. Toward us. For your goodness, Lord. For your goodness. No goodness of my own, and Jesus. But it all belongs to you for your goodness and your mercies, Lord. And your mercy toward us. We offer prayer. Come on, begin to glorify him in this house today as you stand to your feet. Joel chapter 1. The book of Joel chapter 1. The book of Joel chapter 1. Glory to God. The book of Joel chapter number 1. Today, I know that I don't have all of my screamers in the house, and so therefore, y'all got to help me do the best that you can. Amen. Look at somebody say, do the best that you can. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Joel chapter 1, the word of the Lord reads. It's a lengthy reading. I need you to sit into a be attentive if you're online. Make sure that you take detailed notes. Glory to God. The book of Joel chapter 1. And the word of the Lord reads. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it. And let your children tell their children and their children another generation. That which the palmer worm hath left, the locust hath eaten. That which the locust hath left, hath the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten. Awake, ye drunkards, and weep and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come up upon my land. My land. This is God talking through the prophet Joel. Strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the chief teeth of a great lion. He hath laid my vine waste and barked my fig tree. He hath made it clean, bare, and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. Lament like a virgin. 
girded with sackcloth. You see this figurative language, this imagery. Lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. The priest, the Lord's ministers mourn. The field is wasted. The land mourneth, for the corn is wasted. The new wine is dried up. The oil languisheth. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen. Howl, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Two more verses. Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests. How, ye ministers of the altar, come lie all night in sackcloth. What is sackcloth? That's goat's hair. Take off your St. John knit. Take off your Zara. Take off your Gucci. T take off what you got on. Take off your Kato's and take off your, your Burlington and your peoples and put on some sackcloth, ye ministers of my God for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholding from the house of your God. Last verse. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly and gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Look at somebody if you're online, I want you to comment this. If you're in the house, tell your neighbor, tell your friend, tell your, your cat, your, your bird, your parrot. If you ain't got nobody in your house, tell your refrigerator. If you ain't got no furniture, tell yourself. Glory to God. Say restart, reset, restore. One more time. Raise the volume like you're yelling at somebody. Come on. Say restart, reset, restore. Father, make my tongue as the pen of a ready writer. Give me nimbleness of thought, succinctness of speech. I feel like crying loud and sparing not. Wherever this word travels, let it convict and convince and bring someone to the knowledge of who you are. We promise to praise you, magnify and glorify you for it. It is in Jesus' mighty name we do decree and declare it done. And we thank you because you are God and the devil cannot win. In Jesus' name, amen. You take take your seats in the presence of the Lord restart reset restore restart reset restore T today our text is brought to us out of the book of joel is the old testament i always say this that the old testament is the new testament concealed and the old test the new testament rather is the old testament revealed uh, today our text is brought to us out of the book of joel who we consider in the canon of scripture a minor prophet Canon refers to them as minor and major prophets, major prophets such as Isaiah or Jeremiah or Ezekiel, the weeping or Jeremiah, the weeping prophet or Ezekiel, the dry bones. But then there are minor prophets like Jonah and Hosea and Micah and Amos and Nahum. Now, uh, the canon of scripture may refer to them as minor prophets, but they were some minor prophets that prophesied some major stuff and some major events. Brother Maurice, I've come to say to those in the house of God today that a prophet is not someone I want to put this in your spirit that can just tell you what your future is going to be, what your address is, and you're going to get a house, a husband, a car, a wife, or whatever you want. A prophet is somebody that can hear from the Lord, that can give you a rhema word concerning the past or the present or the future. It is this Joel, the scripture records to him as the son of Pethuel. Now, much is not known about the prophet Joel. He is an uncanny kind of individual. You can't find many aspects of his life, but it is believed that he prophesied to the southern kingdom of Israel. Now, people of God, for those online, of those in the sanctuary that are following, I want you to make sure that we get an understanding in our private time of these three definitions. It is the tabernacle or the temple, what I mean when I refer to the sacrifices and the offerings, and what I mean as I refer to the tribes and the kingdoms of Israel. Now, the prophet Joel was a prophet to the southern kingdom. That was the tribe of Benjamin.
Benjamin, and that was the tribe of Judah. Somebody shout praise. Yes, he was a prophet to the tribe of Benjamin and the tribe of Judah around the time of B.C. B.C. means before Christ, before Calvary, B.C. 835. The prophet Joel, he, he had some other road dogs. Like I have other preacher friends. He had some other prophetic friends that would preach alongside him in this same hour. Friends like Obadiah or friends like Jonah, friends like Hosea, Keandre, friends like Amos and friends like Isaiah, friends like Micah. They were contemporaries of the prophet Joel. Now we must understand, give me some time to lay some foundation. We must understand that the prophet Joel, he was preaching and prophesying and declaring what Thus saith the Lord to this, the southern kingdom, before the exile. He was a pre-exilic prophet. Write that down. Rewind this later and look it up on Google. It'll be your best friend, people of God. Yes, he was a pre-exilic prophet. He prophesied before they were taken captive from their homeland, before they were carried off into a strange land. The, the prophet Joel, he, he prophesied a very unique message. He prophesied an interesting assignment to let the nation of Judah, to let the nation of Israel know exactly what thus saith the Lord. Give me one more moment to lay some more foundation. Uh, uh, the prophet Joel, he, he was prophesying in a time of turmoil in the land. It was a time of turmoil. Who believes our land? Who believes our world is in a time of turmoil? Hit that like, hit that love button, wave your hand at me, open up your mouth and say, yes, we're in a, a troubling time. Coronavirus is on the rampage and racism is on the rampage. You can't find friends. You can't find peace. You can't find a job now. You can't find hope. It was a time of turmoil in the land of Judah because we must understand that there was a wicked queen by the name of Queen Aphila. She was the daughter, y'all know King Ahab. Yeah, the daughter of King Ahab. She was wicked. She seized power at the sudden death of her son and she killed all of her son's heirs to the throne and she began to desecrate temple worship, begin to uh, institute false idols and false gods, begin to institute things that would defame the name of the Lord God. She began to drift the people of Judah, begin to drift the land away from the things uh, that God had told them through their forefathers, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses, that way they were to do. And so then it becomes the assignment of this prophet Joel uh, to preach in this day, to preach in this dispensation, uh, to let them know that because of this wicked queen's acts, because of what she has done, because of how she has poured my people off the foundation, it was the assignment of this prophet Joel to let them know that danger was impending and that danger was on the way. I gotta lay some more foundation for a moment now understand this yes this wicked queen although she began to erect false idols although she began to desecrate temple worship although she began to erect other gods uh, they still allowed rituals in the temple to go on as Moses had prescribed what does that mean let me make it some more plain for you yeah okay let's make it modern for you yeah oh okay yes I come to church I take holy communion yes I come to church I shout and I dance yes yes I watch online yes I stream when I feel like it yes I I read the word of God when I feel like it I I give God my time when it's convenient for me but I still dibble and dabble in witchcraft I, I still dibble and dabble in my own affairs I, I still dibble and dabble in new age philosophies I begin to mix uh, my faith with other things of the world with things of the devil desecrating temple worship all while having the appearance of godliness, but 
denying the power thereof. The prophet Joel had to preach in a day like this because the nation of Israel had drifted so far away from what God had designed them to be. Somebody on the stream, somebody in the, sh in the house shout, Lord, have mercy. Lord, yeah, Lord, 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 have mercy. Oh, yes, Queen Athaliah, she was the daughter of Ahab, some scholars believe, or perhaps she could have have been the niece of Queen Ahab. And, and the word of the Lord declares that because of, of all that she had transgressed, of all that she had done, although they had replaced her, killed her, and put Josiah. Y'all know King Josiah, the eight-year-old king. They had put Josiah on the throne after her. Although all that had happened, that destruction was still about to come to the land. I know I might lose some viewers. I know I may lose some members and some friends, uh, but I have to give you what thus saith the Lord. Um, that destruction is impending for those um, that will not take heed to the word of the Lord. The Bible declares in our text to J. Joel chapter 1 uh, verse number 1. The word says the word of the Lord that came to Joel the son of Pethuel. He says hear this you old men. Old men you may have been in church all your life. Uh, you may have been alive in Bishop Jacob Green's day and Bishop H.C. Brooks day but hear ye the word of the Lord ye old men. Old men hear this and then, and then give here all ye inhabitants of the land. That means young that means old. That means a new saint. That means an old saint. That means I just got saved and can't quote John 3, 16. And that means I've been saved and can quote every verse in the Bible. Give ear to what? Thus saith the Lord. Uh, he says now, Joel says, have you ever seen a time like this? Come on, look at somebody and say, have you ever lived in a day like this? I can't see y'all talking on your stream. Tell your pet cat, have you ever seen a day like this? Uh, where you have to walk around with masks and, 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 and have to social distance. You, you can't hug in church. Have you ever seen a day where people are afraid to come to church? The one place uh, you could come to to find help when you're hurting and now people are afraid to come to church have we ever seen a day like this Joel is saying oh give ear because we've never seen times like this it's perilous times oh yeah perilous times perilous times he says I, I don't want you uh, to, to miss the magnitude of this moment Write that down if you're online. Uh, don't miss the magnitude of this moment. Allow me to pause parenthetically and say right here, I'm so concerned that some of us have seen and witnessed one of the greatest pandemics in our lifetime. Um, and we have seen the hand of God sustain and keep us. Uh, and we have taken this so nonchalantly as if these things normally happen. Are you crazy? Are you a fool? The devil is a liar. God does not just keep people like this just to be kept but he's kept us for a reason don't forget the time that we're living in look at somebody and say don't forget yeah i want you when you when you when you hear of what is happening in this land household of judah joel talking i want you to tell your children about it sister maxine tell tell your grandkids tell your nieces tell your nephews glenda tell your grandkids tell tell your children uh -huh, joel is saying about what you have witnessed because what did they just witness i'm glad that you asked me to the prophet Joel says uh, that that which the palmer worm hath eaten. Uh, whew, I feel the Holy Ghost. That which the palmer worm hath left, uh, the locust hath eaten. And, 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 and that which the locust hath left, uh, the canker worm hath eaten. And, and that which the canker worm hath left, uh, the caterpillar hath eaten. And what, what, what exactly do I mean by palmer worms? And what exactly do I mean by caterpillars? What exactly do I mean by canker worms? You all know what a locust is. We had cicadas in America. A locust is something that comes to eat up your crop. A locust is something 
thing that comes to eat up your vegetables. It comes uh, to eat. Sister Deborah Ran, you know, you got you got a vegetable stand, don't you? It comes to eat your sweet potatoes and your potatoes and your beans and your greens. Yeah, you name it. It comes to eat up what you have grown. It, it, it comes uh, to take everything that you have planted. Now, those of you who are Bible scholars, you know that a locust was a sign of God's judgment because it was one of the plagues that was assigned to the land of Egypt when Pharaoh would not let the nation of Israel go. God says there has not been a day like this since when they came out of Egypt where locusts have been dispatched. Yes, locusts are coming to take everything you worked for, everything you've, everything you've earned, everything you've desired for. Think about how cold in just a few short months up have ravished the economy. Come on, Zion. Think about how COVID just in a few short months have, have taken and slain 200,000 and growing nationwide, 900,000 across the world. Uh, it's a type and shadow of the locust. It can be just like the locust in the book of Joel. Think about how all this has happened. Don't you forget to tell your children about it. Don't you forget to tell your grandkids about it. What the locusts have come, what the palmer worm have left the locust have eaten what you could hold on to from COVID then here comes a sickness that's not COVID related that takes you out what, what you had from the locust the canker worm came and got it and what, what you kept from the canker worm the caterpillar came and got it and now you are left in a place of desolate land now it is barren as barren as the cold winter ground in the country now it is barren there's no light Life. There's no vegetation. There's no fruit. There's nothing you can glean from. Nothing you can eat. How will the cows survive if there's no grass to eat? Uh, how will the horses survive uh, if there's nothing you can feed them in? And how will you survive if you can't eat the pomegranate? See, I've been to Israel before. It is a, a fruitful land. They have pomegranates over there. They have dates over there. They have palm trees over there. It's just like Florida, sunny. You can grow stuff over there. The soil is rich, but because they have drifted so far from the things of God, everything they've planted, everything they've worked for, everything they've had, it is destroyed. And what will the people of God do? Look at somebody and say, what we going to do? What we going to do? What we going to do? What you going to do? What is America going to do? What's your, what's your son going to do? What's your daughter going to do? What's President Trump going to do? God bless his soul. What, what's our world going to do? What, what will we do? Mm, I, 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 the, the prophet Joel said, is, um, what, when you see stuff like this, this ain't the time for you. I feel like teaching. This ain't the time for you to walk around with a smile on your face, grinning like a chest wire cat. This ain't the time for you to walk around smiling and shouting for joy like you just got married. This ain't the time for you to be partying and to dancing, to be having a good time. But when you see and witness stuff like this, mourn. When you see and witness stuff like this, I want you to act like a virgin. That's what that's what verse uh, that's what verse seven says. Um, uh huh. Yeah, I want you to mourn, mourn like a, vo a virgin, a young girl that just lost her fiance. I want you to mourn. I want you to wail. I want you to cry. I want you to weep. I want you to get down and take off your clothes and put on sackcloth. Sackcloth means goat's hair. Put on goat's hair. I want you to humble yourself. I want you to abase yourself in the presence of God because these times like this. They call for mourning. They don't call for scandal. They don't call for Netflix. They don't call for TV. They call for the words. They call for prayer. They call for fellowship. They call for fasting. They call for have your way in me, Lord. Look at somebody and say, sanctify yourself.
Yeah, sanctify. I know I'm yelling. I don't mean to yell. I'm not fussing because as I talk to you, I'm talking to me. The word is a two-edged sword. While I preach it to you, it convicts and hits me. It's a time for us from the pulpit to the door. It's a time for us from cathedrals across America. It's a time for us to get ourselves together and to mourn, to get on our face and to lament before the Lord because his land is a wreck. And that's what God tells, that's what God tells to Joel. He says, awake, ye drunkards, and weep, and howl, all ye drinkers of wine. Why, why, will you, why will you weep now? Because there's no more grapes to make wine. The locusts have eaten it. He, he says, a nation, he likens these locusts unto a nation. A nation has come up, and they have destroyed my land. Uh, a nation has come up. And they have wreaked havoc on my land. It says the earth is the Lord's right and the fullness thereof. Look what you have allowed to happen to my land. Look what you have allowed to happen on to the place I have created for you. But I've got good news for you on the stream. Comment and say, I've got good news for you. Somebody comment and say, I got good news for you. Yeah, I got good news. Look at somebody in the house and say, I've got good news for you. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the good news uh, that, that God is now giving unto Joel? He, he is giving unto Joel a remedy. He, he is giving unto Joel a resolution. He's giving unto Joel something that the people of God can do that will begin to shift the mind and the mood of God. I've come to tell you that God will never put you in something or allow you to get yourself into something that he will not give you an exit strategy out of it. You may even have got yourself into it, but God is faithful. No temptation given unto man, but God is faithful where he will provide you a way of escape. If God even allows you to get up into it, you best believe on the stream, I'm talking to you, that God will let you get out of it. He'll let you get out of it. He tells them in verse number 13, I want you to gird yourself. Some, uh -huh, I want you to lament. Uh, you priests, you preachers, every bishop, every apostle. I'm not going to break rank. I don't talk up. I don't entreat the fathers, but it's saying, I want you to I want you to lament. I want you, right there, that word lament, it means I want you to carry on like your husband or your wife just died. Stretch out and get as, as stiff as a Baptist woman in church. I want you to have a Baptist fit. I want you to stretch out and lament. I want you to carry on. I want you to weep. I want you to mourn. I want you to sit in sackcloth and ashes all night because my drink offerings are with hell. Yeah, if, it, if there's no grapes, you can't offer sacrifice in the temple. If there's no wheat, you can't offer a wheat or a meat offering in the temple. I want you to mourn because my offerings are cut off from me. And so what does the prophet Joel say from God in verse 14? He says, sanctify you a fast. Y'all too quiet for me. He says, I want you to sanctify ye a fast. Set a part of fast. Yeah, I thank God that I grew up in the old time church. I know I'm young, but I thank God I have an old time impartation. I know, I know I may be in my 20s, but I thank God that the old church taught me that if you would just simply fast and pray, there's nothing you can't shift yourself out of. If you will afflict your soul, if you tell your flesh, I want Chick-fil-A. I want Chipotle. I want friends. I want entertainment. I want this. But if you will deny your flesh what it so naturally craves and tell your flesh I've got to sanctify a fast. I've got to humble myself. I've got to mourn. I've got to lament because destruction is on the way. And I've got to beseech God for some mercy. He says sanctify a fast. I want you to call a solemn assembly. I want you to call a solemn. What is a solemn assembly? It's like how y'all acting right now. When you walk in a church, I want it to be quiet. I don't want no excess chatter. I don't want no excess talking. Don't call nobody on the telephone, but sit there in my presence. I want you to weep. I want you to mourn. I want you to ponder upon all that you've gotten yourself into. I want you 
to call upon me. I want you to cry out to me like a daughter does for its mother, like a newborn baby does for milk. I want you to call upon me. All ye elders, get the elders. The elders mean the older people. Get the older people. Get the younger people. Get the old and the young together. And let's get into the house of the Lord. And the last part of verse 14, it says, cry unto the Lord. And so we're on this 31-day journey in the presence of the Lord and our only intention our only desire our only goal is to sanctify ourselves a fast to gather ourselves together and to cry unto the Lord that he will spare us from destruction because the day of the Lord is at hand I know it may seem like doom I know it may seem like gloom I know it may seem scary I know it may seem like hellfire and brimstone. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to scare hell out of you. I'm trying to scare you away from aborting and forfeiting your purpose. And so I've come to declare what the prophet Joel said, that communion church, visitors, saints, and friends, those who are online, it's time to sanctify a fast. It's time to close the refrigerator door. It's time time to turn the telephone off. It's time to cut social media off, except for watching services. It's time to quiet our spirits because God is trying to say something to us. I've got to close my message on this Sunday morning, but look at somebody and say, neighbor, come on, look at somebody else and say, oh, neighbor, and say, Pastor Jeff uh, is trying to get uh, your attention. Uh, there might be somebody online, uh, and you still may be asleep. Uh, there may be somebody online, uh, and you may still be in a place uh, of carrying on as usual, uh, mourning and dancing, uh, giving in marriage, uh, giving in supper feast. Uh, but I've come to tell you, uh, people of God, uh, that it's time for us uh, to sanctify a fast uh, and to cry uh, unto the Lord. Uh, why are we crying? Uh, unto God. Uh, because our land, uh, it is barren. Uh, why are we crying? Uh, unto the Lord. Uh, because we can't find uh, nothing on the trees to eat. Uh, why are we crying? Uh, unto the Lord. Uh, because the world, uh, as we know it uh, has come to a place uh, beyond recognition. Uh, I feel like preaching. Uh, I ain't studying y'all right now. Uh, let's go higher. Uh, why must we cry? Uh, we must cry uh, oh, uh, unto the Lord uh, because if we cry uh, he's a God of mercy. Uh, I've come to tell you uh, that we serve a God uh, of mercy uh, and that if we cry uh, Unto the Lord, huh? he'll give ear huh? to our supplication. Huh? I need somebody huh? to jump to your feet huh? in your homes huh? and lift your hands huh? toward heaven huh? and say, Lord, huh? for these next 28 days. Huh? 27 days. Uh, Y'all can count. Do me a favor. Uh, do the math. Uh, but I want you right now uh, to tell the Lord uh, that I'm ready uh, for something uh, within me uh, to cause a shift uh, in the land. Uh, I want my sacrifices uh, to cause a shift uh, in the land. Uh, one more time. Uh, let's go higher. Uh, I'm ready uh, for my consecration. Uh, to beat the heartbeat of God. I'm ready for my devotion to prick the heart of God. And if I consecrate myself, those that are around me may not be studying, may not be thinking about the things of God. But if I consecrate, then God will consequently have mercy 
on them? Is there anybody on the stream that can help me preach and say I'm fasting and consecrating not just for myself, but I'm consecrating for my family. I'm consecrating for my brother. I'm consecrating for my sister. I'm consecrating because the day of the Lord is at hand and I want God to have mercy. I'm not sure about you, but I don't want to keep on going through the motions. I don't want my name on the roll of communion church and I bust hell wide open, but I come to tell you, you may have not heard a message like this before, but I've come to tell you uh, that the Lord himself uh, shall descend uh, from heaven uh, with the shout uh, of the voice uh, of an archangel uh, and the dead uh, in Christ uh, shall rise first uh, and those uh, of us uh, that remain uh, shall be caught up uh, to meet the Lord uh, in the air and those uh, who are not ready, uh, those uh, who would not sanctify, uh, those uh, that had time uh, to go to Applebee's, uh, I'm not judging, uh, and TGI Fridays, uh, to take trips, uh, to go anywhere you want uh, without regard uh, to your safety uh, in the week, uh, but when it comes to church, uh, that's a lot of people, uh, I don't want to be in a closed space, uh, I can't do it. Uh, I've come to tell you, uh, consecrate, uh, get on your face uh, and cry uh, and say, have mercy. Uh, cry uh, and say, wash me. Uh, cry uh, and say, purge me. Uh, cry uh, and say, purify. Uh, it may not be uh, your religion. Uh, it's about uh, relationship. Uh, cry. Uh, if you cry, uh, he'll clean you. Uh, if you cry, uh, he'll fix you. If you cry, he'll deliver. If you cry, he'll bring you out. If you cry, he'll bring our world out. Say, yeah! I'm done. I've given the word of the Lord to you. I've given what thus saith the Lord. That's my assignment. Just like y'all all received the letter from the church, uh, if you chose to open or not, that's you. That's your mail. I am the mailman. I dropped the word off to you. I can't make you do nothing, but I've come to give you a word of warning. Sanctify yourselves. Uh, set yourselves apart. Uh, set yourselves apart because the day of the Lord is at hand. And God wants us to cry unto him. And I've come to tell you, I'll give you part two next week, because I still have even better news for you. I've got better news for you. I've got better news for you. That if you do what verse 14 says, if you sanctify a fast, if you call a solemn assembly, if you gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord, you're gone. Can I tell you something of what God says he will do? <laughs> and I will restore to you <laughs> the years ha! that the locusts have eaten. I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. I will restore unto you the years that the palmer worm has eaten. I will restore to you the years that the caterpillar have eaten, but you can't get to restoration if you can't humble yourself enough to cry. You can't get to restoration if you can't humble yourself enough um, to make prayer six o'clock in the morning. I'm not fussing. I know it may seem like fussing to those that have not received a challenging or convicting word like this, but I'm holding you accountable that it may seem like that, but if you can make everything else and you can't make prayer, if you can't make the things pertaining to God, you don't qualify for restoration. But I thank God we have some faithful women in this church. 
prayer. And if ain't nobody going to be on prayer, Mother Wallace going to be on prayer. At 6 o'clock, she beats me on prayer in the morning. I'm so glad that there are some people that still believe in prayer. Stand to your feet. I feel a flow this morning. That I got good news for you. I've got good news for you. That if you, if you, if you, it ain't going to take the whole church. I know we're scattered. I know some are here one Sunday. I know some have not come back at all. I know we're scattered. But I've got good news for you, evangelists. Sister Denise, Sister Cat, Brother Vaughn, I've got good news for you. That it only takes a remnant. Woo! It only takes a remnant. It don't take all 50 plus members. It only takes a remnant. If just six of y'all will get on your face with me. If just six of y'all will cry unto God with me. Come on, if just six of y'all will say, Lord, have mercy. If just six of y'all will say, God save, heal, touch, and deliver. I've come to tell you uh, that something will hit, uh, that mercy will hit, uh, that restoration will hit uh, the entirety of this congregation. Uh, and we will witness uh, uh, the work of the Lord uh, as never before. Uh, so in your homes, uh, in the sanctuary, uh, you may not be a loud person uh, or a worshiper. Find a way to be so. Uh, it's time to cry. Uh, on the count of three, uh, lift your hands to towards heaven. I want you to begin to cry to God. Cry to God for your healing. Cry to God for miracles. Cry to God for salvation. Cry to God for a fresh start. Some of you have made a mistake and you've been dwelling in your mistakes. But cry to God for a fresh start. On the count of three, one. Get ready, Facebook Live. Get ready, YouTube. Huh? Like and share this. Huh? Get ready, get ready, communion. Huh? It's time to cry. Huh? Two. Huh? Come on, three, cry. Cry unto him. In your home, come on. Mercy, hit the house. Woo! Step in the room, great God. Woo! Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, Sister Deborah, oh God, Brother Emmett, God, na 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 for the Mike Trevelyan God in the name of Ho Ho He Sheko Basi Ikamananananiosoko in the name of Jesus. Huh? Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Huh? The congregation for the Keandre. I found us, God. Sweep through the house. Huh? Send an angel of the Lord right now. Speak to that mind right now. Break up the fallow ground right now. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Hey, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Have mercy on me, God. 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 Have mercy, have mercy. I don't want to bust hell wide open. I don't want to be a Levite and miss heaven. I don't want to be a preacher and miss heaven I don't want to come to church Sunday after Sunday and miss heaven but I want to see Jesus hey I want to see Jesus I want to see Jesus come on Glenda lift your hand and tap in Glenda playtime is over come on Zion I want to see Jesus I want to see Jesus I want to see Jesus what would it profit a man to gain the world huh, and lose his soul. Huh? I want to see Jesus. Huh? I want to see Jesus. Huh? If that's your prayer out there huh, in Cyberland, huh, I may have some aches. Huh? I may have some pains. Huh? But I want to 
see Jesus. I've got to make heaven. I've got to make it. I've sacrificed too much. I fasted too much. I prayed too much to allow my flesh to make me miss heaven. I pray somebody hears me. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Come on, Zion. I got to see him in peace. The wind of God in the airwaves, the touch of God, the help of God, and the peace of God. If you're in your home, run to the refrigerator quick, get some grape juice, get some crackers, get some cranberry juice. If you're in your house, come on communion. I need you to get your communion element. Get it what you need quickly in your house, go find something. This is the only time we're able to drink juice on this consecration. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! He's here. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give me a few moments. Come on. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Come on, Zion. As we take communion, ask God just to have mercy. You don't have to believe me. They didn't believe Joel. They didn't believe Noah. But so what? Some don't believe. Does that make the word of God of none effect? So what? You aren't convinced. Does that make God any less real? If you're not saved, you can call right now. Come on, come on. The Lord has spoken to somebody. He can save you right now. Yes, yes, yes. So what? So what? We don't believe. So what? We aren't convinced. Just flow with me real quick. Glory to God. If thou would have the dear Savior from heaven. Walk by thy side from the morn till the evening. Here is a rule that each of you must follow. Humble thyself to walk with God. Humble thyself and the Lord will draw near thee. Humble thyself, and his presence will cheer thee. Ha! Come on, Zion. He will not walk with the proud or the scornful. Humble thyself to walk, to walk with God. Humble thyself. It's real simple. And the Lord will draw near me. Humble thyself and his presence, his presence will cheer thee. He will not walk with the proud or the scornful. Humble thyself to walk with God. Humble thyself. Come on, humble ourselves, and the Lord will draw near thee. Humble thyself, and his presence will cheer thee. He will not walk with the proud or the scornful. Humble thyself, oh, woo, to walk. To walk with God, one more time, humble thyself, we gotta go, and the Lord will draw near thee. Humble thyself, and his presence will cheer thee. He will not walk 
with the proud or the scornful. Humble thyself to walk, to walk with God. As they play that softly and slowly, please, I want you right now to begin to just take a moment of solemn worship as we prepare ourselves to partake of the Lord's Supper. If you're online, get some grape juice, get a piece of cracker. Come on, everybody do this. Get a, a piece of bread in your home. If you're in the communion sanctuary here, you have an element beside you. You are all invited and welcome to come to the table. Glory to God. Close those eyes and tell God just to continue to wash and sanctify. Glory to God, glory to God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Glory to God. Bless these, the wafer. Bless this, the body. Bless this, the blood. Broken and shed for us. As you take and prepare your element, on the night which Jesus was betrayed, took he the body which was broken and commanded and instructed his disciples to take ye and eat ye all of it. Together with it in our right hand in your homes, get it in your homes. Take each ye all of it together in Jesus' name. Like manner took ye also the cup and said, This is my cup of the new covenant. Take ye and drink ye all of it now in Jesus' name. Release the praise of thanksgiving in this house. Release the worship in this house. Release the worship in this house. Glory to God, 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 glory to God. Glory to God. Thank God for all of you online. Look to see you on Sunday and in prayer tonight, 9 o'clock p.m. I pray you all have received your booklets. I pray you all have received the materials from the church office and that we have read them. Glory to God. Until we meet again tonight virtually for prayer next Sunday, 10 o'clock a.m. If you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, you can call us. 202-439-1587. I'm sorry, I know y'all think I just sing hymns all day. Do you know my Jesus, Lord and Savior, Jesus, the Son of God? Do you know his power and his favor, Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, sweet wonder. Come on, Zion. We're getting ready to go. Row one, you can dismiss yourself. Oh, sweet wonder, Jesus. The Son of God. Oh, sweet wonder. Oh, sweet wonder. Jesus, the Son of, of God. 
row three, you, the row last row, you can dismiss yourself. Oh, sweet wonder. Oh, sweet wonder. Jesus, the Son of God. Sweet wonder, oh, sweet wonder, his name is Jesus, the Son of, of God. God bless you. I'll see you next week.